Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2023. Billy Town on the lineup. Ian joins me now. How are you, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back to the UK. Let's start with that, shall we? Uh, had a chat with one of your colleagues very, very recently about this, but Slam Dunk, you know, it feels like such a massive moment on the festival calendar. UK crowds always give you guys a good reception anyway, but I can imagine yesterday was a particularly special moment. How was it for you guys? It was amazing for us yesterday. It was nice to, you know, finally be back over here and playing and and doing slam dunk we've been trying to do this festival for yeah, three years now so it's great yeah yeah the world got in the way a little bit there for sure but we got there in the end so definitely and nice as well you know now that the new record's been out for a little bit people kind of used to it people kind of getting getting used to those tracks and everything gotta be nice to finally get those out in a live setting and see the kind of crowd reaction how has it been for you actually playing some of those newer songs in the set list amazing uh we've been playing uh, hanging out with all the wrong people and reckless paradise and and uh, quite a bit from the new album so they're going over great it's nice when you know the album's been up for about a year now so yeah absolutely in terms of the uk as well like i say i feel like you guys just always get a great reception when you come over here for live shows love to get some kind of memories of that because it's it's always nice to hear when bands come over from abroad and actually make those first trips over to the uk do you have any special memories of that because i feel like we go hard for your kind of music man i feel like it must have been a special moment yeah, i think the first time we played here on our first record 20 years ago uh we uh, did Reading and Leeds, and, and I remember we got a terrible write-up in the NME or something like that. <laughs> it, it was called, Bi the headline said, Billy Town's sick debut, because we were la literally vomiting off the side of the stage, because <laughs> we had stayed up too late the night before, a bunch of young, <laughs> young amateurs that we were. Yeah. I feel like you buried the lead there a little bit, man. So we got this terrible review just because we were vomiting on stage. Just up, uh, only went up from there. It's funny you say about 20 years, though, because obviously, I mean, I think it's next year, isn't it? 20 years for the debut. Or is it, or is it later this year? I mean, it's, it's very soon. 20 years is this year. My God, man. I mean, have you guys been thinking about how you want to mark that, if you want to mark that in any kind of way? Well, we did a 10th anniversary, so, that, yeah. you know, we might do something this year as well. Yeah, it'll be 20 years this fall. So, uh, yeah, I, well, we're talking about what we're going to do. but It's always inevitable, isn't it? When you get to a band who's been there for a certain amount of time and just these milestones keep on running. But it's it's nice to acknowledge those moments. It's got to be nice as well that a record like that 20 years ago, it does seem to keep finding new audiences as well. I feel like it's one of those staples. You put that next to some of like Alkaline Trio records and that kind of thing. It's like it's nice kind of, I don't want to say like entry point, but it feels like, you know, those records like, hey, you want to get into this type of music? Listen to that. It's got to be lovely. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, you know, the first and second record are kind of... Uh, our, our fan favorites uh, so you know and there's constantly new people getting into those two records so it's uh, it's a great point of entry for sure yeah. yeah nice like I say it's not been a million months away uh, since your last record but the world such as it is and the industry such as it is how much new music are we kind of thinking about are you guys already thinking about next steps what you kind of want to do what you kind of want to achieve yeah I'm always thinking about new music uh, you know writing and and uh, and hopefully we'll have something sooner than later out <laughs> Yeah. You know, because it did take us quite a, a while because of the pandemic to put out uh, Crisis of Faith. It was almost like six years in between records. So, so uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to get new music out sooner than later. Yeah, very excited to hear, very excited to hear. Well, I know you've got a busy day, but before I let you go, something I've been asking absolutely everybody here is about Dream Collapse, because this is a stacked lineup this year. I feel like it's a vintage one for Slam Dunk. So is there anyone here that you've not worked with before that you would love to jump on a track with? Anyone on this lineup? Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of great bands on, on uh, this festival. Um, we went to see The Offspring last night. They were phenomenal. I'd love, always love to do something with them. Um, and uh, yeah, a bunch of new bands that we haven't seen, like Sincere Engineer. I'm looking forward to checking out. Nice, yeah, very cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah, shout out Sincere Engineer, actually. That's really, really cool. That's a good choice right there. Um, dude, have a great rest of your weekend. Looking forward to seeing you back here in the UK very soon as well. All right, good to see you, dude. Great, thanks. Nice one. Ian, everybody.